Oh man, I have been waiting for this. You already know from the title of the video what it is. Well, let's act like we're surprised anyways. It has finally arrived, my friends. So what do we have in here? Let's get the old yank out. The GRX C1 Go Rock collaboration with Karyology. The amazing, amazing collaboration. As you all know, I'm huge fans of Go Rock, as you've seen in some of my other videos. I'll link them above. Uh, huge fan. This is the 26 liter uh, GRX C1. Uh, as you can tell, it comes with the fantastic Damasuda patch here. Look at that thing. A little bit of titanium. Cool design. Let's go through the bag and get a little view of the tag and what it looks like coming up. So truth be told, before we get started, we're going to hit on some of the specs. But let me talk to you about how I acquired this bag. So I did not uh, get in on the Karyology release. They sold out so fast on the website that I just couldn't get in on it. So uh, some of the great people over on the Karyology Facebook group, uh, I follow that and um, a handful of these went up for sale. And one of the folks on there um, sold me the 26 liter version of this, which I greatly appreciate. So shout out to the folks on that group and thank you for uh, offering up the opportunity for this bag. Otherwise I wouldn't have got it. Okay, so again, Dyneema, it is the X-Pack -Pack material, um, code name Gorilla, or Gorilla X, which is really cool. Um, 26 liters, as I mentioned, uh, some of the unique features to this that are different from the existing GR1 is the upper, upper spare pocket, I suppose it's called upper stash pocket, whatever you want to call it, where you could put your sunglasses. This was introduced in GORUCK's Heritage line and is a super nice addition uh, and really a well-wanted feature. So you could just stash keys in there, um, sunglasses, wallet, things like that. Things that are a little bit easier than your normal slash pocket in the front that has that deep, um, deep pocket in it. Um, I, I really like that quite a bit. Uh, the typical YKK zippers, you have your nice uh, zipper pulls with your heat shrunk material over the um, 550 cord. Inside each of these, you do have your high-vis orange uh, Cordura uh, material, right? So inside the Denima, which is really another nice touch so you can see any of your, um, anything you store in there, decipher that from any of your other uh, from the black material that's in the normal ones. I do like the touches with the orange for that little stash pocket. It does not have any molly uh, on it at all. So you don't have anything down on the straps. You don't have anything on the front like you typically would have your three rows of pails webbing uh, or anything on the sides here. I wanted a slick version of this for quite some time, the 26 liter. And uh, I like the Huckberry version of this, which is Cordura. But I really love, I'm just a fan of the Dyneema and X-Pack. Uh, now again, of course, it is, it is much louder than the other Corderas. And my original um, GR1 is the uh, 1000D Cordera. The other thing is, um, you know, it's a water resistant material. Um, obviously you'll still have some seep through here on stitching should you have it. But something else to consider is if you're in a warm climate, the Dyneema does not breathe or absorb very well. So any sweat on your back is going to just remain on, on the material. So that's something to consider if you live in a warm environment. I personally don't really care just because I really like the slick bits of the back. So let's open it up real quick, take a look at the inside, and, um, and then we'll start to walk through it. So um, I understand the zippers are a little hard to break in on this, but um, you, know, you just flip back the little lip for the zippers. Not a big deal at all. All right, so your typical clamshell design with GR1, nothing different there. You have uh, your high-vis orange here uh, on your inside mesh pocket, again, which is nice. Your typical contrasting GR1 zipper pull color that you have uh, on your upper pouch pocket, again, 
Hibis orange Cordura on the inside. Nice touches. I love the orange. My girlfriend, you know, typically mentions, you know, bright colors, which you deal with that. I'm a fan of orange. Um, you know, here's your Dyneema, right? So it is waterproof, Dyneema is, but again, where you have your stitch points, you will have some penetration of water potentially. Your normal pocket where you put your, you can use it for a laptop, but it's designed for the GORUCK weights. Uh, and then your pail is webbing on the inside so you can attach uh, any kind of admin pouches up here. So any of your, um, your, your GR pockets, right? I don't remember what they're called, but pockets that come with them. So I did notice that um, some folks were saying that some of the dimensions were different on this bag, that it was potentially a little deeper, a little wider and a little shorter. So let's measure that uh, up and compare that to my OG uh, 26 liter um, 1000D Cordura real quick. All right, so interior depth, as you go to kind of the bottom of where the zippers are here, looks like it's about, mm, about three, about four and three quarters depth. Let's take a look at the OG and take a look at that one. See what that looks like from a depth wise. Again, I do have some, some material in here, so we need to clean that up a little bit and get a better picture of it. So here, mm, you're looking at about the same depth, not much different, uh, four and three quarters. So um, not much difference there. Let's kind of measure at the widest part at the bottom here and see kind of where we're at. Again, this is not scientific by any means, so relax, don't get all crazy with me here. About 15 inches, it looks like. Let's take a look at this. On the bottom. That's uh, about 15 inches also. So I don't see it being any wider. Let's take a look kind of at the at the length of it. See if we can measure that. We'll measure it on the back side and see what that looks like on top of the zipper on the bottom. So that's about 20 inches. And this guy is broken in, well broken in. It's measured up here from where the, the, the actual Velcro is up here, where they used to have a pull through with the hydration bladder down to the bottom. And it's about 20 inches too. So I don't see, um, I, again, I've heard some, some reports of the size being different, um, potentially deeper, wider, and shorter on the Gorilla X. But, you know, based on the measurements, I don't see a marked difference in them. Um, again, it does have your normal, your laptop pocket in the back, right? Your, their bomb-proof laptop pocket, which has, you know, some space in the bottom that captures it so your laptop isn't sitting all the way on the floor. Uh, it does not have any, again, pot, the panels webbing on it. So um, it's nice having a sternum strap if you're going to use this to carry a heavy load. Um, I don't know what I'll do about that in the future. I do like having the option for a sternum strap, so we'll we'll kind of see how that how that goes. Again, super excited for this. Let me um, kind of do a quick walk around with it on my back, so you can see what it looks like. I'll throw some stuff in here to kind of fill it out, and then give you kind of an idea of what it looks like on a person. I'm 6'2", 185, 190 pounds, depending on how many tacos that I eat, uh, and that'll give you some reference of what this looks like. All right, so you can see how it rides up on my back. It's just like your normal 26 liter GR1s. This is my favorite size. I've tried the 21 liter. It's a little too small for me because I'm a little bit taller. So I have a little bit longer torso, again, 6'2". So this fits perfect, doesn't ride too far down in the small of my back. It uh, doesn't you know, affect anything if I have a belt on or anything like that. It doesn't interfere with anything down there. It's the perfect height. Um, so there's what it looks like on. All right, so the GR, let me get a better, some better light in here. The GR XC1, Karyology Go Rock Collab. If you can get your hands on it and you like X Pack material Dyneema, like I do, this thing's super light compared to the regular GR1. Just hit myself in the face with straps up and that. I guess that's. Cool. Um, if you can find it, uh, get your hands on it. It's a great bag. Gives you a little bit more, um, kind of, I'll say concealed. You don't have any of the webbing on it or anything like that. The Molly, the Pale's webbing on it. 
uh, which gives it a slicker look, but you also still have the patch panel, which I really liked. So take a look at it. Uh, Karyology obviously comes out with a ton of collaborations with others. Um, this one is my favorite so far, just because I'm a Go Rock fan, as uh, again, you all probably know. And I hope they come out with some other collaborations with Go Rock. I think they're a fantastic uh, company, both, both of them are, and come up with some great ideas. So if you have the regular GR1, take a look at the Dyneema, and I will see you all next time. Thanks for sticking around. Please consider subscribing if you uh, like some of these videos. Again, I'm not a scientist. I just like to unbox stuff. I like cool stuff. I know you probably like cool stuff. That's probably why you're watching this video. So uh, give me a like, give me a subscribe. Help me keep this going a little bit longer and I'll try to crank some more of these out as I get some free and available time in my schedule. Take care, I'll see you all later.